How's it going everybody? This is Radish Head and welcome back to another episode of Upland Analysis. The new year is here, it is 2022 and there is a lot to be excited for in 2022 in Upland and uh, in this video I'm going to share the top five things which I am excited about in Upland for 2022. Number one on the list of things I'm most excited for is Meta Ventures. Now Meta Ventures is going to be one of the biggest new introductions to Upland since the game came out. For those of you who don't know, Meta Ventures are basically Upland businesses and they're going to allow people to place down shops on the Upland map. They'll be flagged in uh, orange on the map, so instead of being uh, green for properties for sale, they'll be orange for places that you can buy stuff. You'll be able to sell all kinds of things, so uh, block explorers, NFL legits, um, decorations for your house, and presumably more and more things uh, as time goes on and as those features are implemented. I really think the Meta Ventures is going to add a whole new dynamic to the Upland economy, and I'll be tracking it very closely on the channel. So uh, if you want to see how Meta Ventures impacts the Upland economy, or you want to figure out the best place to set up your business uh, when that comes out, then give my uh, channel a subscribe on Upland Analysis because I will be analysing that throughout the year. I genuinely think there are going to be players who are going to pretty much entirely uh, focus on meta ventures and that's how they're going to get their uh, their return on their investment so there's going to be players who focus on the property trading side of it and there's going to be people who focus on the meta ventures side of upland which i think is amazing that uh, we're going to be getting more ways to interact with the economy it's going to be very dynamic the business dues system which uh, i've talked about on the channel before is going to mean that some areas may have uh, lots of businesses uh, but then they've got to pay more taxes, so they might be encouraged to move elsewhere, and it's going to be like really, as I keep saying, it's going to be dynamic, it's going to be really interesting to follow. Overall, I think any way for players to have more avenues to uh, make up X and uh, interact with the game is going to be fantastic. And it actually links up really well with the second feature that I'm most excited for in 2022. And that feature is Upland Cars. Now we've been hearing quite a lot about Upland Cars, it's been on the uh, the roadmap for a little while, but it does feel like we're almost there now. We've, 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 we've seen the uh, car models, and the thing which interests me is all the different models of uh, cars that are going to be in the game. So there's going to be super sporty ones, there's going to be um, you know off-road ones, there's going to be vans, there's going to be big trucks, and the fact that there's sports cars and there's big trucks and vans can uh, give you some insight as to how cars are going to be used in Upland. So I was just talking about Meta Ventures and Meta Ventures shops. Well, the goods that are sold in the shops obviously have to be transported from one place to another. So you may need uh, like a van or a truck uh, with a lot of carrying capacity. If you've got a big business and you want to get your stuff from one place to another, or you're um, you know buying goods from one person's shop to uh, move to your main shop somewhere else. Uh, that's something which cars could use. And of course, something which everybody is very excited about is the concept of racing cars. And uh, indeed, it has been confirmed once again that racing will be in the game. And it actually sounds like the racing kind of mini game game aspect of Upland is actually going to be contained within a separate 3D environment. So you'll be playing Upland and then however it works, you'll, you'll click something and then you'll enter a new 3D environment where the car racing will actually take place. So that kind of adds a uh, more of a gameplay element to Upland, I suppose, where at the, at the moment it's mostly uh, property flipping. It'll be about businesses and, you know, the treasure hunting is kind of gameplay. But car racing, it sounds like that could introduce a whole new... Uh, appeal to different types of players and uh, I'm expecting to see some really good growth in Upland from 2022 uh, as a result of the cars. Another really interesting point about the cars which uh, has been brought up in a recent AMA is that the block explorers will actually have trainable stats which uh, a lot of those will be all about driving and uh, it may be that your, some explorers might be better at the off-road stuff, some of them might be better at uh, top speed or acceleration, whatever. 
So, and you'll be able to train those stats, and presumably um, some explorers will be naturally better than others at uh, racing. So that um, gives more encouragement for people to buy and sell block explorers in their MetaVentures shops. There could be uh, services where people can train up block explorers. So again, more avenues for people to interact with each other through the economy and more ways to play Upland in 2022. So Upland Cars is something which I'm very excited about. Number three on the things which I'm most excited about in Upland in 2022 is the player spawned collection system. Now I've moved my screen over to Mosswood in Oakland because it's a fantastic example of a community that's come together and they've built lots and lots of structures on their properties because they're aiming to upgrade Mosswood in Oakland from a standard no collection place in Oakland to a player spawned collection. So of course at the moment the collections have been selected by Upland themselves and they're mostly focused on iconic or historical or expensive areas of the city. Well in the future in 2022 the objective is that areas where players have built lots of structures, valuable structures, where people have set their home base, all of these things are going to come together and form a neighbourhood score and the neighbourhoods which pass certain score thresholds will be selected to become player spawned collections. Mosswood in Oakland for example, there's no collection there at the moment, it could become a limited collection, it could become an exclusive collection or a rare collection. If the whole thing is built up with townhouses and apartment blocks, all of the houses in here could suddenly be worth a lot more. And uh, this example here where you see all these houses, I think in 2022 you're going to see more and more neighbourhoods where players come together and build lots of stuff and it's really going to fill out the map and make it look really cool and the players who get involved in these communities will surely reap the Upix rewards as well, which I think is really cool. Because of player spawned collections, I think we're going to see 2022 as the year where the players are deciding where the valuable places are in Upland rather than Upland themselves. With player spawned collections, anywhere could become a collection. It's not just, uh, oh, uh, Upland has uh, thrown a dart and decided that uh, this place is going to be the place to be. If you speculate on an area to be a collection and it doesn't work out, well, it doesn't matter so much because you you and your friends can get together, build some structures and uh, hopefully push your neighbourhood above the threshold required to become a collection. The fourth thing which I'm excited about in Upland for 2022 is, of course, new cities. As I said in an earlier video, I'm expecting another big city to be announced sometime soon. Maybe a big city on the East Coast like Los Angeles, which would be pretty cool. But throughout 2022, I've got no doubt that we'll be seeing plenty of cities uh, for people to mint and trade and just get excited about. Uh, Lots and lots of exciting areas in the US which still haven't been covered yet. We've got Miami, we've got Las Vegas, we've got Philadelphia, Los Angeles, Dallas. And those are just places within the US. I mean, look at this. Let's zoom out. It's a big world. In uh, 2022, I am certain that we are going to see at least one international city, whether that's in Asia, we're going to get, uh, you know, something in Japan, South Korea, Hong Kong, or is it going to be in Europe? Are we going to get London, Paris, Berlin, Rome? There are infinite possibilities in Upland right now, like huge cities around the world, which is going to bring a massive amount of international hype and a lot of players coming in the second one of these international cities is announced. 2022 in Upland, get ready for some really exciting cities to be added to the game. And the fifth and final thing which I'm most excited about in Upland for 2022 is more partnerships. Now in 2021 we saw a number of really exciting partnerships. We saw Upland partner with Spirit Halloween for the Halloween decorations. We saw the biggest partnership of all, which was the NFLPA Legits. And, um, you know, I'm not even the biggest NFL fan. I don't really know how the sport works, but it's obviously a very big partnership, which has brought quite a lot of money into the game. We saw a partnership with Hyperloop, and the Hyperloop is actually in the game, and you can take that from Chicago to Cleveland, which is very cool. And in 2022, I don't think that's going to slow down. I'm just expecting to see more exciting big partnerships, which is going to bring more legitimacy to Upland, 
more investment money to spend on development and exciting things like that. So Upland partnerships, I'm going to be keeping an eye out for those because that is something I'm excited to see more of in 2022. And that's my list of five things. Do let me know in the comments if there's anything you think that I've missed or if any of these things which I've talked about in the video you'd like to see me explain in more detail in a future video. If you enjoyed this and you want to stay up to date on everything going on in Upland in 2022, please give me a like on the video and subscribe to the channel because it really does help me out. And until next time, I'll see you then.